Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another exporting results struggle. Today we're going to start getting into basic summary statistics, how to make some weight tech tables with basic summary statistics. Again, straight from Stata, where the goal here is that if we update our data build a little bit and we need to update these summary statistics, we can just come back to this code, we can rerun it, and then we have a brand new updated summary stats file ready to go that we can pop back into our weight tech file. No more writing tables from scratch. No more worrying about if we're writing those numbers down correctly. It's all happening automatically from Stata. So this will be a pretty quick video, but let's go ahead and dive right into it. So what I've got here is I'm just gonna use the auto data. It's slightly different from that medium.com Stata guide example, but I think it'll be helpful if you can see multiple different examples. So one thing that you'll notice in the top here is I've added this line called ESTS to clear. The reason I'm doing that is because when you do ES tab, what's gonna happen is it's gonna output everything that Stata has currently stored. So if you're running this after other programs where say you've just done regressions, if you don't do this clear statement, those regressions are gonna appear in the same output as your new summary statistics that you're just running. So if you do STO clear, you're gonna make sure that you only output the things that you're doing right here in this program. And you can see I've also done this path thing. This just makes it easier both on me, but also on you so that when you use this code, if you use this code, all you need to do is change this path to where you want something to be saved and you can keep everything else the same and it'll output perfectly on your drive. So I'm gonna use this auto data set and maybe I'm going to do a tab stat, which is another way of summary. And I'm going to summarize basically these four variables here. I want the mean, standard deviation, min, max, and the number of observations, which is pretty standard, both if you're gonna put this in a paper and if you're about to put this in say a presentation to talk about your progress. So now I'm just gonna run this and you're gonna see that these names right in here come with E. It's the name of the local that Stata has stored and those are the names that we're gonna call when we do this output. So now you can see I've got this giant block of output text. I've tried to put comments after each line just so when you're looking at this later you sort of have an idea of what each option does. The other thing to notice is I'm doing my favorite trick for a long command where I change the delimiter to a semicolon so that I can put all of this without those little three little slashes. That way the three little slashes can be useful for comments, but everything else is sort of a neat little line where I don't have to worry necessarily about like an extra enter that's gonna throw off Stata. So let's go through this line by line. So I'm going to output this using my out text, which is this here. It's gonna be a .tech file. I'm gonna replace the file, just meaning that if the file already exists, I want Stata to go ahead and overwrite it. The cells, these are the statistics that I want to output, so I want to do all of them. I don't want any numbers on the columns, and I don't want any other titles going on. We'll use those later when we output regression results, but for now we don't need either of them. I do want this book tab option because it's going to make these nice little lines that we saw in that original regression table. It's just going to make it look really pretty, and I want those in there. No obs, this is the no obs option. We don't need an observation count at the bottom because one of the statistics that we're outputting is the observation count for each variable, so I don't need it. The title, it's gonna be called Basic Summary Statistics. This label is really just for LaTeX. This is how you can call this table later in text. And notice that I don't need to put a number, I don't need to call this table one if this is really table one, because LaTeX is gonna number this for me, which is really handy. Now these titles, mean, SD, min, max, and count, they're fine, but if I wanna put it in a paper, I want it to look professional. So I want to call, I want to label each of those columns, min, capital SD, min, max, and N. And then I'm going to add a note because I like my notes to be in the table directly. I'm kind of disagreeing with the state of the LaTeX guide here. I think your notes and your title should go in the actual LaTeX code. I'm trying to make this as easier on yourself as possible. Putting the notes directly in this code is one of those things that's going to make it easier on you down the road, I think. But if it doesn't work for you, no worries at all. The other thing that I wanna do is I don't wanna go through and label the variables price and weight and length and miles per gallon in actual lines of code because maybe I want them to be different labels in different tables. Maybe I'm only using these variables here. So whatever it is, I'm just gonna do this COEF labels where I can relabel each variable directly in this code and it's gonna come out looking really nice. So if I do this S tab, I'm just gonna run it all again just to be safe. So here's me running it all again, and you can see that this output is written here. And if I click that, you can see that it wrote basically this LaTeX code for me where it put in all the numbers, it put in the labels, and it all looks very nice and clean. 
Now, the one thing I want to add to this before we go ahead and put it in an overleaf, just to review how to put it into the overleaf document, I want to go ahead and put some formatting. So for example, you can see this mean and standard deviation, they each have three decimal points and the min, max, and count have zero. That's kind of nice. The only thing that I would like to change is I think mean and standard deviation really only need two decimal points. They certainly don't need all these decimal points here or here. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use this cell option right here. And all I need to do, if all I'm changing is the amount of decimal places I'm putting in each number, I can do format two in parentheses around each of these numbers, where when Stata sees format two, it's gonna assume two decimals for all of the rest of the cells. So for example, standard deviation, I want two decimal places, I don't have to put anything. But min, max, and count, I want zero decimal places just because those are gonna be whole numbers and I don't really need decimals there. So I'm gonna to need to specify format zero for each of these. So now when I run this new guy and I go back into this document, you can see that mean and standard deviation each have two decimal points, but min, max, and n don't have any decimal points at all. So this is just a really nice way to clean up your formatting and a really relatively easy way to clean up your formatting. And now just to review, let's go ahead and put this into our overleaf document. So I'm gonna go into overleaf, I'm gonna upload, I'm gonna upload from my computer, and I'm gonna go into our basic summary statistics, which is what we're doing now, and I'm gonna go ahead and include this basic summary stats. So I'll go into our section, and I'll just say include basic summary stats tech, and then I'll go ahead, I'll recompile this PDF, maybe I'll pull it over so we can see it a little better, and you can see that we've got this really nice looking table with everything labeled, table one basic summary statistics, mean, standard deviation, min, max, and n. Everything looks really nice. This is a really professional looking table. We're all set to put this in the paper or in a presentation. So hopefully this gives you a pretty good idea of how to do summary statistics. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.